Hi everyone, back at Bassington's. I hope you're all keeping well and I hope you're all staying safe. Today uh, we're going to clean my shotgun, my Beretta 694 Sporter. Uh, people have asked us, you know, what process do you go through with cleaning your gun? Uh, before we start, the two things I advise is remove all luxury items, you know, remove all jewellery, uh, watches when you're doing this. I'm probably stating the blindingly obvious. And the second thing is always clean your gun immediately after coming back from shooting. You know, the barrels are still warm. It just means that when, it, when the uh, gun cools down, the barrels can contract. None of that dirt will get lodged in. It's the best time to clean your gun. So I'll run through the equipment we need. We need a, a gun cleaning kit, um, usual stuff in there. One thing I'd recommend is get some cotton buds. They're brilliant to get in all the nukes and crannies. They really move the dirt. A um, couple of microfiber cloths, um, some gun cleaning fluid. I'm using the Barrels, um, Philips Gun Barrel Cleaner. Um, any decent mate will do. Um, some oil and some grease. I must admit, I'm more of an oil man. Um, I know um, others prefer grease, but either will do. It's just personal preference. And also what you need is a box to trap all the dirt in. I use an old shoe box. Uh, which is great. The other thing is you probably need a better place uh, than your family kitchen. I'm very um, fortunate or unfortunate, depends how you look at life. Uh, I'm not married, I'm not divorced, I have no children and I live alone, but I'm sure if I was, uh, my missus would kill me for cleaning the shotgun in the family kitchen. Uh, so here we have the barrels to trap all the dirt. I actually run um, the brush through the barrels with no a uh, gun barrel cleaner in it. Uh, that just, and I just do it once, that just sort of removes any, any muck. Um, and also what I do is I just take a cloth and just trap any dirt there. I just take a kitchen roll and you can see already the muck that is coming off there. And that's with no barrel cleaner in at all. So run that through again just the ones like so, and that just pulls out any dirt to begin with. Make sure the barrels are trapped on the floor and all you do is just put a few squirts there. And what I always do is flip the barrels around and place them there. Now I then let that set, so to speak, for a few minutes whilst I clean the other parts of the gun. So fore end, just a little bit of dab there and there, not too much. And the action, just a, again, you don't need much and just let that set. So you probably realize I've already removed the chokes um, from the gun. And this is, this is my hot tip, so to speak. I've never seen this done before. Basically take the chokes, put a slightly warm water solution and just pop those into the sink and let them seep. And that removes all the muck and dirt from the chokes. It's a really, really good way to clean the chokes. I mean, every time they come out, they look like new. So the solution sort of set and, you know, really give them a really good scrub down like this. And it's particularly the, the sort of first half of the barrel you really need to concentrate on. And you can see the muck coming out there. Before cleaning the next barrel, I take just a kitchen roll, remove all of that down, and you'll probably see how mucky that is, and then just trap the muck on there, because then you're not putting muck onto muck, and you can see, look at that. And that's before this brush goes down the next barrel. The brush is now clean, and again, exactly the same. Really good. Really force it, and then, And you can see the muck that is just falling off that. I mean, I'll just place the barrels there and again, take that kitchen roll. Right, look at the muck that's come out there. It's incredible. What I then do is just give a little bit more cleaning there for this time. And also again, down the barrels, okay, don't need much, and just allow that to settle. 
So taking the fore end, microfiber cloth, you can see the muck that's coming out of there. And just rub that down and look at the dirt that's come off there. So that's now nice and clean. Okay, the action, again, microfiber cloth, just get in there. and give that a good clean and you'll see the muck that's come out of that. I like to use the cotton buds. You can get into all the nooks and crannies. Um, it's sometimes harder and you can see the muck that is coming off there. It's sometimes harder to do with a cloth and there you go. That's why you have the cotton buds. That's where you take the um, thorough cleaning of the gun, you have the cloth mechanism on the gun cleaning tool and a fresh cloth and you just push that down once. Don't rub up and down it, go down once and you can probably see there all the muck that has come out. Before putting the cloth down in the barrel, what I like to do is just take a kitchen towel, kitchen roll, and just rub that, and you'll see the amount of muck has actually come off that as well. Again, the other barrel, and you just run that down once and through, and you will see the muck that has come out. And the barrels are incredibly clean. Final clean and push down and you will see the muck that is on there. Again, before cleaning the next barrel, just run up and down the handle and make sure that the dirt is off here. You don't want that going back down the barrel. Look at that, look at the muck that's come off there. Barrel, and I say just one push all the way down. Don't move it up and down because you'll put the dirt back into the barrel and you can see the muck that's come off there. And the bowels, just take your forefinger, again a microfiber cloth, and just gently, you know, a bit of pressure on it, and this will pick up all the muck, and there you can see. Again, just the end where the chokes fit in, same thing. It's been soaked in a slightly uh, warm water solution, and I find just a normal cloth. And if you just run that through, once it picks out all the muck. And there the chokes dried off and you can see how incredibly well cleaned they are. Okay. And then, as I said, just clean microfiber cloth around here. You know, that's soaked in quite nicely. And it just cleans, you can see the muck that's coming off. It's incredible. And again, same, Thing with the ejectors, just there, we'll have another go with the other ejector. And you know, use your pressure of your, your forefinger and you can see the muck that's coming off. I mean the gun, um, I said I'm more an old man than the grease man. I do at times use grease, but what I do is put a little bit of oil just there and then obviously that slots nicely into place like so. When I use the grease, I use the grease for um, the fore end and I just put it on the two loops there. I find that that's better than the oil. Okay, so again, taking the cotton bud, just run that down throughout the ventilated part of the barrels. Very simple, very easy. Same with the rib. like so, and uh, you can probably see the muck that's come off there. So another hot tip is to take a, a J cloth, it will slip through the ventilated top rib, 
and that picks up any excess dirt as well. As I say, you do need a J cloth, you need a really, really thin cloth and just run that up and down. And also do that for the ventilator midrib as well. Just pull that through and run that. And that picks up any excess dirt. And that's the gun reassembled. Um, I don't put the chokes in the gun because um, this is a 32 inch barrel and I bought a gun case that was really designed for 30 inches. It does fit in, but without the chokes. Um, what I always do before going shooting is I put a bit of oil at the end and then put the chokes in. I know I've already mentioned Lloyd Patterson uh, uses grease, it's personal preference. All of this takes about 30 minutes. Um, I will say guys, I'll reiterate again, um, do not try this at home. Yes, in your kitchen, in your wife's kitchen, your lover's kitchen, your mistress's kitchen, uh, your boyfriend's kitchen, your girlfriend's kitchen. Just, just don't do it. I live alone and uh, I'm the one who doesn't get told off. Okay, stay safe and stay tuned.